You are here, though, supporting a really special campaign this Christmas, aren't you? Because, yep. you know what, everybody's in Christmas spirit. It's all fantastic. Happy, happy, happy. But if you're on your own, this is the worst time of the year. Yeah, terrible. And there are just so many old people sitting around with nobody to talk to. It's such and a it goes on and on and on. The telly becomes their only source of companionship. Yep. And, you know, maybe they're lucky and they've got a neighbour that drops in to see them. Their families live miles and miles away. Maybe they've lost, a, you know, they've lost their husband, yeah. lost their wife or whatever. And it's really, really sad. They're stuck at mm. home, you know. It's really, really So tough. what can we do? Is it, it's not just really about sort of donating money necessarily, though that's always welcome. Yeah. Um, is it more that we just have to be aware of the people round about us, aware of our neighbours, aware it, of our elderly relatives? I think, I think the thing is, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm getting on now myself, so the, the, the distance between me and that is getting shorter and shorter right. and shorter. Suddenly, you know, you cross the barrier at 65 and you think, OK, um, I don't have so many years left, so right. I'm looking at that mm. end now. And you just realise that older people really, as much as lack company, they lack affection. They want somebody to give them a hug. I can remember being in, 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 um, in Nepal with my boy, we were walking yeah. up in the, in the Himalayan foothills, and there was this really ancient lady that lived on the edge of the village in a little hut, and we managed with our, our, our guide, who was acting as our interpreter, to have a little chat with her, and she, she, I said to him, what does she want? He said, what do you want? She said, I want a hug. Oh. <laughs> so we both gave this glorious old lady, <laughs> who must have been 150, <laughs> we both gave her a hug and, and it was, I mean, so much more for us than it was for her. Yeah, you're right. You don't, you don't get that sort of contact sometimes. No, that's it. Oh. It's like, ooh, and that's what people want. People want a hug. Yeah, they do. And just for somebody to say, how are you? Yeah, how, how are, are you? How are you doing? Can I help yeah. you? Can have I, a chat. You yeah, know, can have I do a cup of tea. You? It's a bit like um, G GMB just now are doing an amazing campaign, the same sort of idea for people to give their time as yeah. well. You know, that's, and that's, that's the time. thing. That's it's that time. That's that time. A moment, in. you know, a yeah. moment. It ties in really well. Their whole million minutes thing. It's it's been uh, it's been a huge success, and and I think as a society we're probably we kind of splinter unless you live in a small village or you live somewhere where everybody knows everybody and there is that real community spirit. Yeah. But if you live in a big city, you can get lost. Completely lost. Get lost. And, and it's not peculiar to Britain. It's oh, no. it's all over the world. It's just the way we live now. Yeah. You know, you, it's this ability to be able to move off and do whatever you've got to do to make a living wherever it is in the world. You're mm. going to do it. No, That's exactly. it. And what happens is that people get left. Behind. Mm. So I guess wherever you are, you need to do it. Go and give somebody a hug. Go Ask them first, hug. obviously. Yes, I know. In these this day and age, I think you have to be again. Yeah, you have to be very careful. But I think just giving somebody a lovely hug is is a, is a great thing. You mentioned your boy, of course, and the two of you have done amazing things together. Yeah, it just works, doesn't yeah. it? You've got I'm an really, incredible really very relationship. Very lucky. Very lucky. Yeah. My baby boy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and he's it's great fun to be with him. Yeah. We have a wonderful time together. We just, you know, we just it travel well together. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's the key thing. You know, often, the, you know, like there we are, you know, up in, well, I think we're in Pembrokeshire then, right on the beach in Pembrokeshire. You're and, so happy. Yeah, and, and that's it. It's all about being happy. Thanks to his mum from Brighty Ferry. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, of course. There is that. You're one of the few people that can do a Scottish accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do that. <laughs> oh, no, you can. You absolutely can.